Hello everyone, and this is going to be a quick message for the new moon by the candlelight to amplify the fact that there is a new moon. If you go outside, that means there's no moon visible. So if it is clear where you're at, likely you can see some of your favorite planets and constellations quite nicely. So do me a favor if you haven't already. Before you go to sleep, step outside, take a breath of fresh air, and just look up, say, here I am, universe, thank you, set those new intentions in this new moon, such as doing something nice for yourself, as stepping outside and taking a breath of fresh air, something as simple as that. So. I am going to pull a Lightworker card for you as we may be able to see some things illuminating that maybe we haven't before. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Okay, so for some of you that have possibly started new routines with the new year, integrating those routines into your everyday life, right? Sometimes challenging. So with this energetic upgrade here and a new way of being, it's more as if it's not feeling so foreign. It feels like you're being lifted into, into that, okay? So something for you to perhaps think about or meditate on in this reading. I don't know if I want to cover that or not. There we go. I'll put this here. How about right here, shall we? <clears throat> I need one of those little card thingies. I need to set up like an Amazon wish list for like decks and you know those stuff for um, for readings. Um, I think that would be good. It'll be a convenient place for me to Organized. So, um, also going to pull a Moonology card here. The new moon in Sidereal Aquarius and Western in Pisces. Okay. So, if you're not familiar with your chart, you may want to go and look at that. This is a timeless, all sign, not sign specific reading, just for the new moon, a collective read. So if you do resonate with this, fine, and if you don't, don't sweat it. I'll only call it the signs as they resonate anyway. <clears throat> Could be you have placement in your chart or someone you're dealing with in your energy, okay? So lots of permutations, folks. So that's why I always say don't, you know, don't sweat if it doesn't resonate. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Cancer, one of those very homey type, you know, you know, some of you were, especially like in the winter months, like we're so like curled up in our shelves in our little hibernation spaces. So we feel safe and cozy and we don't want to go out, right? So this moon is saying you and your loved ones are safe, okay? So if this is something that you've been concerned about lately, um, cancer being a water sign, you know, potentially tendency to worry, um, this is spirit saying that your loved ones are safe, okay? So I will set this kind of yonder. I just don't want to cover up my lamp, you know, my little, the flickering of my, <laughs> of my lamp. We'll put it right back here at the, at the base of this. Um, print I have of this photograph. Anywho, and I realize it's quite dark in here, so it really doesn't matter all that much. However, I am going to stick to my regular tarot deck. I was thinking about doing my, using my Grateful Dead deck tonight. And you know what? I think I will just because I like the colors. It reminds me of the, you know, the midnight colors and with the shining, you know. Although the Ethereal Visions deck shines as well. Dun, 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 dun. I hadn't shuffled either of them, right? So, 
pardon while I shuffle. I do like to shuffle on camera though because it's the energy um, that I put in and that you get out of it as well. And so if you are new, please like or subscribe or drop a comment if it resonates with you. I try to get back to comments when I can. Um, sometimes I'm not always in the right app or whatever for the notifications, so it might take me a couple days. <clears throat> but my contact information is there at the top um, on the landing page if you do want to contact me for a personal reading. All right, Spirit, what do we have for this new moon in this collective? This Aquarian and Piscean new moon collective here. Yeah. One more. Thank you. Okay. Nine of Cups. I don't know why I hear. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Addition. I mean, I'm going to start out with a Nine of Cups collective. <laughs> like, that's all right by me. Uh, Knight of Cups with this nine of cups. Could have some water in your chart offering you, uh, whoever this is resonating with, a cup of love, some kind of love offer um, that you don't see coming. I mean, you may be in a contemplative state, and maybe they're in a contemplative state as well, and that's why it's crossing here, you know, that it's not very present, because you have the moon card down here and the foundation. So, you know, whatever has been, like, you're kind of like, do-do-do with my nine of cups, like, I'm all good, right? And then here comes this knight rolling in, and, um, but down here it's, it's all mystery yet. So, <clears throat> you know, as Axel Rose said, where do we go now? <laughs> well, let's look into the recent past, shall we? All right, on the other side of this cross. Oh, boy. Da -da -da, page of Swords. <laughs> this is one of those Page of Swords cards that is uh, pretty entertaining to me and kind of shows like the seedier side of the Page of Swords card. Um, you know, is somebody coming to tell you a message? That's cool, but like it almost might come in a way that like, or it did come in a way, and maybe this was part of this love offer, that it kind of like, yeah, somebody put their cards on the table, but it was like, you know, with a swig of beer, and you're like, what? Um, who are you? <laughs> You're a dealer? A dealer of what? Like, I have my nine of cups over here. I don't know who you are. Okay. Um, and again, maybe that's why this moon card's down here. Because it's still, it's like, who, who are you? Who are you to me? Because my foundation is solid as a rock, baby. I'm sitting on the riverbank. With my, me and my shadow self. And your little dog, too, right? <laughs> this little turtle now is a little terrifying. Um, since it is a Grateful Dead deck, you can see there's the the imagery here. I like the terrapin. <clears throat> anyway. In the crown, please, spirit. Oh, three of wands. Travel to me, too. That came out in the last reading I had. That was uh, specific to Virgo, but it was completely around a divine masculine. And um, uh, emperor style energy. Also with the Queen of Pentacles. If that, you may want to check out that reading if you have some Virgo in your chart. Aquarius was also in that reading too. Um, it's just the one previous to this, so... If you're into the signs more that may uh, resonate with you <clears throat> and I typically don't do reads for Virgo um, it just 
I had a special request. So it kind of came out to be a little bit of a collective um, read. Four of Cups. Yeah, let's see. So looking ahead, um, you're not looking to get caught up, right? Because you're like, I done did that, and that's why I'm sitting happy here with my Nine of Cups at the present moment, okay? So this may feel like a rejection to somebody in your, um, if they're coming, if they're this night here coming towards you, this may feel like a rejection towards somebody because you're kind of keeping to yourself a little bit. Um, <clears throat> that's just the energy. All right, let's see what, oop, oh gosh, there we go. Eight of Pentacles, that's, I think it's all there, okay. Uh, the Lovers, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. Is this gonna is this gonna turn out or not? Wow! And that was eleven eleven. So if you are manifesting something here, this came out in the hopes and fears of <laughs> big old Ace of Pentacles, which is like uh, abundance from the universe. Okay, right? And this it's like the turtles like handing it down. So you know it's solid. Like it's you know what I mean it's like quality. Okay. Um. And in your environment here, it's like. It's the, the surrounding love is here. Um, whether this is an actual partnership or not is another story because you're kind of like, like you said here, somebody might feel like this is a rejection. Um, but the environment of love is present, okay? Again, you know, could be involved with, oh my God. And this is the outcome. Ace of Cups. Um, somebody's getting married. I don't know who. Uh, yeah, you're you're their build a bear. <laughs> you're their you're their build a bitch. You know that song. This ain't build a bitch. So maybe somebody done figured that out. And they're like, you know what? This person's a pretty good investment. And now and now it's it's here in in you know, kind of like this dream society almost. Like, you know, it's gonna feel like like is this really happening? You know what I mean? And I feel like that's oh, sorry, I'm gonna tilt this. I feel like it's going to sit down a little bit. Um <clears throat> That's why this is here. That's why this makes sense now. Uh, why this abundance is here in the hopes and fears. Because it's like you've not really experienced this before. And that's why you're kind of like you're hesitant, right? You're holding back. And you see how these eye sockets are? It's like you can see that there was some sadness here, okay? Um, but you're learning to put yourself first, and that's going to place you exactly where you need to be, right according to the universe. Because you're just tra -la 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 -la, doing your thing, and it's like, oh, and then this little turtle can be like, you know, imagine like, you know, Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> Except there's a giant turtle that falls out of this guy. It's like, here you go. Okay. Was that in Mario Brothers? They had turtles and stuff too. Um, so. That was interesting. I didn't really expect that, but do I ever? Uh, <laughs> really, only sign specific came out here is Gemini, but that is of the lovers. And um, yeah, your nine of wands on the bottom, your battle wounds are showing. And I feel like you might even be at this stage where you're not afraid to show them. Okay. Um, but in this central zone here, you know, where it's like just first happening, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know if I can, you know what I mean? Like you're good, but it's like, can the other person reveal, it's like, here's their true self, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like, but this person's looking over here and it's like, well, how can you see what the reality is if you're looking over that way? It's like, they're not able to face their shadow self yet to connect, okay? 
Um, so again, that's kind of where this, this hesitation is, is coming in. Now, once this gets right, right, <laughs> then, then the options become more translucent. And I don't know where the word translucent came from. I have not used that word in a long time. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I was going to say transparent. And then, you know, wow. And then here's the nine of pentacles. So, yeah. Yeah, you're getting out of this headspace. Could be, see, this says Gemini. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Swords. Um, <clears throat> all right, y'all. I am going to leave it at that. Uh, let's see if I can do a quick clarification, actually. So this is a Celtic cross rate. I'm going through this rather quickly, though, because I see on my timer that I only have 22 minutes for this video until it runs out. Um, so that is why I am trying to zip, 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 you know, but... I like to kind of take my time with the reads, however, um, you know, impulsive me, I'm just like, oh, well, let's just keep going with those because there's more time on the clock. Da, 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 da. So, it's like overtime. <laughs> but this is part of what you would get with uh, a reading if, you know, we went to that next, next level of clarification. Okay. Uh, righty, the Celtic Cross, Page of Swords again. Yeah, you're like, I don't even care who's talking about me. And it again, it could be this Libra Gemini Aquarius kind of coming to give you this message or whatever. And you're just kind of like, hey, yeah, okay, I got my Nine of Cups, though. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Big deal. Oh, shit. Ace of Cups. This is the same card, guys. This is the same card. Okay. All right. I feel like this person, they're kind of regardless of your past kind of reaction to them, they still want to come and um, offer to you this kind of loving embrace here. Okay. And I think I said in the first part of the reading, like, somebody's getting married. So, I don't know who that is, but I don't know how else to interpret that. Anyway, <laughs> do your own read. Uh, for <laughs> pentacle stability. Maybe that's what this person is questioning right now. Maybe that's, that's what you can't see. Maybe that's what they've been working on. Maybe they're not sure if you're stable. Mm -hmm. But again, you're the nine of cups. You're standing on your ground. <laughs> like, see another day. Exactly. Yeah, because you're like, look, ain't nobody going to stop me. You done did that, right? That is the past. You done did that, okay? And it's like you've earned your stripes, Okay, and now we're moving on. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Clarify this three of wands, please. Oh. <laughs> Who showed up in that last reading? Did I say the emperor? And here they are again, Aries energy. Somebody was wanting to make a move, all right. So maybe for whoever this is, Nine of Cups, you're going to have an emperor coming towards you, or you are this emperor getting ready, like, to kind of make this move. I don't know. I'm feeling like you're the boss vibes, though, for sure, especially with this Nine of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Cups! Ooh, yeah, see? Exactly, because you pull back, and you're like, I know what I want, and you're like, I'm not giving in until I get it. That's this new, that's, yeah, like, new year, new me. Like, get it straight. Sorry you haven't caught up yet. Get with the program. You know? Maybe you need to put another cylinder on that engine to keep up. Figure it out. So, I, I almost...
almost wanted to apologize for how that came across, but then the strength card comes out. I can't, I, I, it, Leo, Leo, okay? Sun, okay? Leo on top of this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, because a Leo is not, Leo is like bulldozing, right? They're like, oh, there's no road to this uh, hill that I can put my house on? Well, uh, yeah, aren't we just gonna like make a road? <laughs> yeah, Leo doesn't see obstacles. They see opportunities, all right? And that's how this couple loves coming across here. So again, keep an open mind. Uh, clarify the lovers, please. I'm so close on time. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, the Eight of Wands is going to be coming fast. It's going to be fast and furious. I feel like you're going to be bumping into this person, like, wherever you go. And it's probably not a coincidence, just FYI. Because <laughs> if they're... Yes! Who did I say? Somebody's getting married. This is the Hierophant right here. They're worried if you're going to accept or not. But, well, let's see. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, clarify. Just collective, please. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Trotting along, okay? It's coming going to be coming sooner than you think and it's likely going to be more serious than you think or expect so in terms of a learning experience collective yeah this is going to be all over it it's also Taurus energy Turian energy okay um big earth vibes here with the terrapin uh, with the this ace of pentacles as well okay all right y'all manifest wisely